Oh, hello there. Have you ever wondered how communications has developed across time? How technology has affected it? Communication is the way we express ourselves in both verbal and physical interactions. Let's take a stroll down memory lane. Communication began face to face. How has it progressed from then to now? Around 3000 BCE, writing was created. Let's take a look. In 900 BC, a postal service was created in China, allowing communication to travel long distance. Dear John, I miss you very, very much. Our dog Sammy misses you as well. Please come home soon to me and Sammy. Love, Felicia. <sighs> Wait, I'm not John. In 776 BC, people used carrier pigeons to deliver messages to other people. In 300 BC, the first library was created in Egypt, allowing easier access to information. In 1605, the first newspaper was created in Germany, allowing easier access to information and news. and I learned what happened. Wait, 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 wait. What is a newspaper? The newspaper, it, the city distributes it and you can just go pick it up oh. and you can read it and you can learn about oh. the daily events or the current events that are happening. That it's is so crazy. amazing. I know, look. Well, right here it says Mr. Trump, who himself has been accused of multiple women of sexual harassment. I'm reading about oh. Trump. Trump, the president? <laughs> yeah, the Whoa. president. In 1620 in Spain, sign language was created to allow people with disabilities to communicate.
1840, the telegram was created to send messages long distance using Morse code. Uh, yo, dog, what's up? Been thinking a lot about you lately, uh... What is this? Yo, dog. It's a telephone, you heard? In 1876, the first telephone was created allowing people to communicate over long distances using voice. In 1920, the first radio broadcast was created allowing people to listen to music and learn about current events. Hey, you want to listen to some music? How are you going to do that? With the radio, silly. What? <laughs> In 1936, the first TV broadcast was aired. Good morning, folks. I'm Karen Holiday, and I'm Ryan Solo until my partner shows up. I'm here. I'm here. Welcome. Glad you made it. Good morning, America. My name is Sally Thumber Nibble, and today you are welcome to the very first broadcast. I am it so is. excited. Oh. So Sally, what is this whole TV broadcasting all about? TV broadcasting is a way that we can get all this wonderful world information out to the people through pictures and sound. So that's how it's from the radio, because the radio you can't see video clips and pictures, correct? Correct. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. And now here's Sally with the weather. Sally? Okay. Anyway, with the weather today, as you can see, 8 o'clock tonight is going to have rain. 9 o'clock is going to have thunderstorms. Back to you. Well, I am sorry that my partner Sally forgot to tell you what the weather is currently. Currently, it's a little gloomy out, and that's the beauty of TV and the broadcast, is that I can tell you what is going on currently, and we can tell you what's going on in the future. Thank you. And that's all we have for you today, folks. Now back to you, Garrett. You back to you, Garrett. In 1972, the first test email was sent, allowing people to send messages faster than mail. In 1973, the telephone was made into a mobile device called the cell phone. Hello? Hello?
Yo, dog, what's up? What you doing? Alright, cool, yo. Yeah, you wanna, you wanna chill sometime? You, you just let me know, alright? Later, during 1991, the World Wide Web was created, allowing people to access information from computers. are you doing? Are you reading the dictionary? Why would you do that when you can use the World Wide Web? What's that? What's the World Wide Web? Well, I'll show you. With a click of a button, you can look up anything from juicy kumquats to bubblegum pigs. It's also the best way for you to communicate efficiently. For example, why are you still sending those damn letters? Don't fail. Send an email. So get rid of the dictionary and get on the web. My name is Billy Schoenfield and this is informative news. The first text was sent in 1992 which sent an immediate message to your cell phone. In 1997, the first social media site, Six Degrees, was made, setting the stage for social media sites today such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Everything that you've seen in this video has led to the present day. If we have evolved this much, what is our future going to look like? Communication is going to continue to develop throughout time, through letters, telephones, voice commands, and maybe eventually telepathy. Without communication, we wouldn't be where we are today. Thank you. But she she just instantly starts laughing as soon as you get close to her. It's like human interaction is too much for Emma. <laughs> Go ahead. Chuck it. Ready and Go ahead. <laughs> and Go ahead. Ready. Ready and Don't smile. Just look around. Go ahead. <laughs> Cheeky boy. <laughs> Good morning, America. This is Edith. Edith. <laughs> Good morning, America. My name is Sally Thinker Maple. <laughs> <laughs> Take a video of me. Okay. <laughs> is it going? Yeah. I don't want to be here. I have a life outside Shh. of my. Face. We're in a library. <laughs> <laughs> With the World Wide Web, you never have to worry about opening another book ever again. God, I hope I never have to do this accent ever again. Ready and go. <laughs> and go. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Go. <laughs> 